Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists. Hello, I'm Adam, and on this Question of the Week, we're answering this burning question from Robin. I heard in the podcast that the reason why we get a sunburn is that the body is trying to fix cells that are damaged by UV radiation. So if one person is sunburned longer than another, does that mean their immune system is worse? I really hate sunburn, and I burn really easily, so it's a little unnerving to think that it might be because of a hampered immune system. So to find out what's going on, I am very glad that dermatologist Jane Sterling is able to shed some light on this. So, Jane... There is certainly some variation between people as to how long the redness of sunburn lasts. However, that variation seems to be due to the skin type rather than anything to do with the immune system. So if you're like me and you're pale and covered in freckles, you might burn more severely than someone with darker skin or someone who tans easily. That's because the ultraviolet light of the sun produces more damage to the cells of the skin and so there is more damage that has to be repaired. That sensitivity to the effects of ultraviolet light is due to the low level of natural skin pigment so that means that the skin has less ability to shield out the harmful rays of the sun and so more skin cells are damaged and the body has to work harder to repair that damage and clear up the damaged cells. So a healthy immune system makes a pretty good job but never 100% perfect, uh, of clearing away those damaged cells. Whereas a suppressed immune system, or one that's not working properly, may not make quite such a good job of clearing the cells damaged by the effects of the sun, but that won't be noticeable to the person who's been out in the sun at all. So, the main difference between a long-lasting sunburn and a shorter-lasting sunburn is the amount of damage done to the skin by the sun. Which is good to hear. Thank you, Jane, for that one. And I'll be sure to keep the sunscreen on to avoid having to worry about this at all. Next time, we'll be looking into this question from Patrick. Can I keep using my kitchen sponges and cloths till they fall apart, as long as I microwave them occasionally? And is it better to sterilise them using the microwave, or should I be putting them in the dishwasher instead? So what do you think? You can email chris at thenakedscientist.com, find us on Facebook, tweet at Naked Scientists, or join in the debate on the forum. That's thenakedscientist.com slash forum. Thanks very much for listening, and until next time, goodbye. <laughs>